Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Greenberth. Might as well do our daily after that uh, shit show daily of yesterday. So we're playing as the Lost today. I, I did read about that on the old Twitter sphere. We start with Holy Mantle and the D4. This is not necessarily uh, the kiss of death. I guess, uh, considering who I'm playing as, please don't have enemies in here right off the bat. I would have shit myself. Lemon Party's actually pretty good. Um... Yeah, I I guess I won't worry too much about uh, my standard, oh, this is how we're going to min-max this run style, and we'll worry way more about survival. I do think, by the way, not to, not that I'm still bent up, uh, be beaten up about it or anything like that, but uh, I do think that uh, I ranked really well on yesterday's daily, except for the fact that Steam Maintenance, you know, goddamn alligator took me down in my prime, basically, right? No, we were, we were in a pretty good rank there, I think. And, uh, unfortunately I can't confirm that as a result of the fact that we, uh, you know, did lose our score. But that's okay. It's okay! Um, now I'm looking at this and I'm like, is that the negative or is that the Polaroid, man? I mean, that looks like the Polaroid to me, but I could be mistaken. This is a terrible, uh, first fight, no question about that. We, uh, apparently we've killed the boss. <laughs> this is the first video I've done, uh, since the patch. Oh my god, what is going on? It's the first video I've done since the patch yesterday, so... You know, the, that was the mythical 109 patch as it as it became known. Um, so there might be some bugs going on here. I'm quite frightened, I've gotta be honest with you, about uh, the prospect of fighting the lost, or fighting the haunt with the lost. Having already taken a hit against the ghosts. But we're just gonna take it very, very slow here. Because the odds are that this is proportionally gonna be the hardest thing that we have to do. For a couple of floors, at least. The ghosts are just so difficult to manage. Oh, God. No! <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> oh, that one's... I'm mad. I'm a little bit mad at myself there, but okay, That's now that that's done, I guess we'll just start up another one. I guess I played as the Lost recently. Who do we need uh, a victory with? I don't want to play as Azazel. I'll, I'll play as Lazarus hard mode. I don't want to play as Azazel because he um, got nerfed recently. Here's our seed for today. F8EFE3JR. Man, that sucks. You unlock the blue womb. Right, this is since the patch. I guess no matter what you do, as long as you do something, you will unlock something. Or you'll unlock uh, the blue womb. Again, I don't want to get too much into that patch debacle, basically, because I don't know how much of it is uh, confirmed and how much of it... Or confirmed as, like, being intentional and how much of it is actually just like, well, we, we made a mistake. Like, oh, we nerfed Azazel, but it was a mistake. Oh, we, um... Nerfed Lilith, but I don't think it's a mistake. I have a little bit of a contentious opinion on Lilith relative to the rest of the the Isaac population. I, I think Lilith is kind of an underpowered character, but uh, we'll, we'll tackle that a little further. I'm not trying to be like super edgy, you know, Mr. Northern Lion Man here. I'm just uh, sharing my opinion on it. I, you know, Azazel does need to be nerfed, or not need, but would benefit from a nerf from a game balance standpoint. It just seemed weird that you're like, oh, we've been using this character for like a year. And then it was nerfed, but apparently it was a bug, so shit happens. Anyway, that's why I'm not going to play as him right now, but we'll see what happens in the future. So we are playing as Lazarus, which is why I'm not freaking the heck out over all that terrible damage I've taken so far. Even if we die on this room, it's not the end of the world. Now, mind you, it is suboptimal to have been in, in this position in the first place, because if we'd had more HP left over, we could have played the Blood Bank some more. And if we'd been able to play the Blood Bank some more, who knows, maybe we get a Blood Bag, maybe we get an uh, IV Bag. I don't know if that's going to be worth anything for us as Lazarus, but uh, might be worth a shot nonetheless. I'm still a little salty over losing that daily challenge immediately, but uh, life goes on. Life goes on. We get a bomb here, which means we will be able to access the Tinted Rock. Range up is fine. 48 hour energy could be good. Speed upgrade. And another range upgrade. Okay, we want the key. We want this. Do we want to kill ourselves on the first floor? I'll take Mom's Pearl. Um, I, I can't imagine that we would yet. But let's take a look. There might be some other stuff on this floor that could 
that could change my mind. Small Rock is a huge pickup here. And then um, enough money here to maybe make our shop worthwhile? No, just slightly too little. Is there a Spirit Heart on our shop? If there is, I'll probably actually kill myself on that blood bank then, and there is. There's also uh, the portal gun item. How do I feel about that? I mean, it might be better than the pills. Could be interesting at least. Oh, we got a free play out of that blood bank. Look at that. This is a new uh, Northern Lion Fucked Your Mother strategy 2.0. I don't think I'm going to take the portal gun yet. And by yet, I mean probably ever. But, um... We'll, we'll think about that in the future. Right now, I'm happy with the pills. And we're doing Dark Room on this run, I've got to remind myself. I don't know if it'll even finish the post-it, but we'll, we'll try. I'm not going to get too bent out of shape over being, like, you know, one of the first people to get real Platinum God or, you know, real fucking Onyx God or whatever they're going to call it. Uh, I, you know, I'm going to be playing the game for, for eons. We got real Platinum God in after or in Rebirth in like January. Game came out in November, so if it takes us, you know, two months, three months, that doesn't bother me at all. I think it's that's all part of the journey, man. I uh, I'm all about uh, you know the just the consistency of putting in that time on a daily basis. I don't want to rush it down, you know. It's the opposite of what I do if I have a plate of delicious popcorn chicken in front of me. I can't get that popcorn chicken in my body fast enough. However. When it comes to Isaac, I'm content to wait a little bit. We got 10 cents out of that, which is just an incredibly good haul. And then I messed it up a little bit, but that's okay, because I'm assuming this judgment is going to pay out anyway. And I really would like some HP. This is not really what I was looking for, but that doesn't mean it's bad. In fact, Power Pill could be awesome here. I'm going to use this mostly to play the Demon Judgment. There's two Power Pills, right? So... We got Synth Oil out of that, which was a great get. We also got Are You a Wizard, which is terrible. We'll use Power Pill on our um, Blood Bank here. I think Power Pill is a good addition. Very sensical, if that makes sense. Infested? Eh, we could save that for a room full of poop. What? They're both infested? Well, let's use the other infested one. Um, my thinking there being like... I guess I want to carry Emergency Contact, because it's kind of like a... Uh, a High Priestess card. An inverted High Priestess. Not really inverted, that would be like... Instead of a foot coming down, the whole room would come up? I don't know. Look, I'm not gonna get into that metaphysical bullshit here today. The stars. I like it, but we gotta get some use out of Emergency Contact. So the only reason I would really find myself using the stars card is to uh, get out of a curse room and save a key. Which is not bad, but Emergency Contact is probably better because we are so low on HP we might find ourselves in kind of like a Feast or Famine survival moment. Safety pin. It's okay. Rotten Baby is also fine. You know what? Let's Stars Card out of this Devil Room. That is a new kind of bomb. Sticky bombs. Egg Sack bombs. I mean, okay, I should mention that this is the first video since the patch, so there's all new items in it as well. In the game, I should say. So I don't really know what some of these items will do. We'll try out... Hey, that's not terrible necessarily. Um, we'll try out our uh, our egg sack bombs in the future here, but I, I want to save them for now, not use them on super easy enemies. Amnesia, not so bad. Uh, I'm gonna check for a secret room here. Did not work, so I don't think I will be going to our curse room. Probably should not have even opened that if we're being honest. Some extra keys and money. Uh, an extra spirit heart is actually extremely worthwhile. And then... Quick curse room check. I don't know, there's another new item. I guess we have a, a new uh, allegiance again to new items, so let's go pick this up. Spider Mod. Mod Buddy. Spider Mod obviously a reference to the Spider Mod from Vanilla Binding of Isaac. That um, allowed all sorts of cool like stat display and you know the ability to do custom challenge runs and stuff like that, uh, and I believe that the namesake, Spider, the developer, actually uh, worked on Rebirth and possibly Afterbirth as well, so this is a cool little throwback. I have no idea what the item does. Uh, oh, it gives enemies stats! That's super cool! Or gives them health bars, at least. Um, I largely think, well, okay, let's not go over the top too much already here, but I think that maybe this is just an aesthetic choice, but that is super cool. I, I like that a lot. 
If you're not gonna make it an option to just have the health bars, I think this is a nice little Easter egg, is to have, uh, you know, the health bars just appear below the enemies instead. Uh, with, with this item. That's really cool. That was terrible damage on my part. I will fight the boss, I just hope we don't get a deal with the devil. Emergency contact did basically nothing. Oh, it holds them in place! Ah, that is actually, uh, pretty valuable. The eyes have a health bar, huh? Every one of our shots right now is doing 78 damage. The occasional 155? Where's that coming from? Oh, the rotten baby flies probably, yeah. That is really neat. That's gonna provide some interesting insights. I know that, like, you could already probably find that data within the game itself, but this is, a uh, this is really cool. I like this item a lot. Well, we did get a deal with the devil. Hopefully it's Krampus. It's not Krampus. It's a shame because I would like the nail, but, you know, I mean, it, I'd, I'd be lying if I said I didn't see this coming to an extent. You know, this isn't my first rodeo. You're not supposed to go into those uh, rooms if you're not comfortable with your HP. This really makes it clear, like, visually, how you're doing against these enemies as well. I like this item quite a lot so far. Infested will hopefully be able to find an opportunity to use. Crap. No, we're fine. It does, uh... It's weird because it like clutters the screen, but it clutters it in what I would consider to be a pretty productive way. Like, I, I quite like this. Is that guy always so small? I don't think he was always so small. Like, I wouldn't mind a mod that just made that visible uh, to begin with. I will take Libra. Although, probably at this point now, you know, you, you wouldn't do that because it's already an item in the game. Kind of cuts, uh, undercuts the item a little bit. Let's see how Libra's affected our damage. We're doing more damage now as a result of Libra. Probably because our range stat was so disproportionately high uh, relative to all of our other stats. So that was actually a pretty nice speed and tiers and damage increase for us, I think. We'll try this. Enough money uh, to be very confident we're going to be able to get something from the shop. Can't possibly be a greed fight. We're still in line for boss rush. I'm still a little salty that I whiffed so hard on that daily, man. One day I'll get over it, but... You know, it's like when you... You take, like, a test. And then you think you did pretty well. You studied hard. And then you get it back, and you did, like, worse than you expect. You're like... I could have done better than that. I've disappointed myself. I made a promise to Master Wine. That I'll take care of you. And I've broken that promise. Oh, that hurts. So we got speed up, which is all stats up. Awaz. Yera, that's great. Burkano, worth taking. Perthro, Burkano. Just use the infested pill. Um, we've already been to our item room. We'll check this out. Do we want anything in here? I think we would benefit from buying the 9 volt. Got a, all stats up out of it. Um, and then I think we want to perthrow that, and we get the battery instead. It's like just the same items over and over. Um, but we gotta take the Yera rune with us. And let's try to find the secret room, because otherwise we could find ourselves dying pretty soon here. And that's, uh, that's a scary thought. I'd rather not have to deal with that. Obviously we won't be going to our curse room. Three cents inside of this room. That's not really what I'm looking for. It's a little dangerous. <clears throat> Mind you, I shouldn't have been hit in the first place on the uh, on the second secret room. But if I may throw a little bit of, as the kids are calling it, a little bit of shade at the game right now. Uh, no HP upgrades and no tinted rocks makes Homer something something, you know? Like, I'm a little bit uh, concerned that we have not really been balling out of control in, in any of those categories. Now we're literally one hit away from death. I've also noticed that uh, it doesn't actually seem like Cricket's Head doubles your damage. Rather, it just seems to have given it a... Oh, you know why? That was really good, actually. But you know why that is? Is because we picked up Libra. So it's not going to double our damage. It probably just makes all of our stats like 30% better or something. Which is actually still really good. Balls of Steel. One makes you small. That's fine. Amnesia's not. Oh, enemies that fire bombs. A little scary. A dime is absolutely acceptable. That is balls of steel. Holy shit. Okay, well, thank you to that battery charge for pretty much saving our lives there. Uh, we'll try to use our power pill, maybe. Just to... Well, not on this room, but we'll try to use our power pill 
appropriately to give ourselves a better chance at coming out of this one. And now that we know that we have some decent pills in our rotation, I don't mind uh, being a little bit more aggressive with this. That was probably the worst bomb placement you could imagine, though. Uh, okay, we'll pick up Polyphemus. Again, that's going to be a pretty colossal all stats upgrade, I think. Let's power pill into the... Oh, we definitely should have power pilled on this room, but life goes on. You never know what you're going to get on the inside, right? We still have these sticky spider bombs as well that I, I don't really understand yet. Maybe you can attach them to enemies? And let's take a quick look. We were doing 99 damage to enemies before per hit. Let's see how much damage we're doing to them after that Polyphemus pickup. 146. Uh, that's really good considering we also get disproportionate stat increases, you know, in every category as a result of that pickup. And not to mention, of course, we have the flies as well. Um, definitely should not have picked that up. Not just because it's explosive diarrhea, but because uh, we were one room away from a charge anyway. Sloppy play. That kind of sloppy play, you know, it can make the difference. We were pretty much one, um, one uh, balls of steel pill away from possibly suffering oblivion here. So I really should be min-maxing as much as it's kind of like antithetical to my nature to do it. I think it's, uh, I think it's dear prudent. Still don't know what these bombs do. I think I need to probably try to stick them to an enemy or something. And this is the end of our, uh, of our, uh, pills here. Because we are going to be going blank card Yera without a doubt. And we'll try to find a good opportunity. Again, a bad bomb placement. We'll try to find a good opportunity to use that. Probably the next time we find a consumable drop. Although we're probably getting pretty close to the end of the floor. Maybe we should just uh, hold up until they get a, an amazing consumable, or just start it off on the next floor. I mean, we might as well blank card Yara the battery. And we could do that multiple times. It basically means that we, we could have unlimited of whatever our other spacebar item is. So we could get unlimited pills. Which is actually really, really useful. We should consider doing that. But it is a lot of backtracking to make it happen as well. So that's an all stats upgrade again. If we blank card Yara this, do we actually get this item? No, we do not. So, as much as I would love unlimited pills, I think I'm just going to head down to the next floor. Somehow we got the mom transformation. I guess we've gotten too many mom items. Which is good. Uh, the knife behind, I don't think is necessarily a disadvantage. And by not necessarily a disadvantage, I mean like it's definitely an advantage. Um, it's not a huge advantage, but it's okay. And this seed is all of a sudden coming out. This is like the, the baby version of that lost seed that we had on the daily challenge. Like, we've had to play okay to keep ourselves alive, but not nearly as well as we would have to to survive that lost run. And of course that lost run's on me. That was sloppy play against the haunt. If only I hadn't been hit by the ghosts, we would have been sitting pretty, but oh well. Okay, this would be ideal if we had no greed fight here. Which we, we do have no greed fight, so we'll blow this up. And there's no battery charge in here, but still, I think it's worth, like, doing this. And we'll probably be able to get enough to, to donate... Uh, even more than we took out, without a doubt. Um, the whole point here is we want to buy Hive Mind, we want to buy everything if possible. We're already only one room away from getting another charge, so we probably shouldn't do that one. And we do get all the consumables already for doubling with the Yara Rune as well, so... Okay, just be smart here. No need to rush. Easy enough. And we'll see if we can get a teleport... Ah, uh, we don't want a teleport card now that I think about it. See you in hell. So we'll double it again. I don't know what that pill is, but honestly, I think it's either range up or balls of steel. So if we get a balls of steel pill there, that would be awesome. And we got a lot of good stuff. Oh, it's 48 hour energy. So we could have done this like way earlier. Um, I don't really want a 48 hour energy anymore just because it's going to make this room very complicated. Don't really mind spending five cents on a bomb accidentally. Uh, we can take it with us. We got a world card. We got a world card. World card. I think I just bought the world card, which is kind of funny, but... Um, is this the Depths 1? Yeah, let's buy Hive Mind, of course. Might as well use 48 Hour Energy. And then we'll go donate as much money as they'll let us donate, basically, because without this uh, donation machine, we wouldn't have been able to get what we got in this room anyway. Now, we are in a little bit tight when it comes to our, uh... Come on. We're in a little tight here when it comes to our, uh... Boss Rush, but... 
we're still gonna try to do everything because we have such good damage and, and really like such good stats in every single direction that why wouldn't we give it a try? Terrible damage, and I've got to be very careful about that. Our HP is still not great. You know, every all stats upgrade that we get is still not HP. So Speedball will again up our damage. It's really nice. Like, I'm, I'm really glad we took Libra so I could actually see how our, um, our stats are affected here. Like, how our damage in particular is affected by, like, each statistical pickup that we have. I really should have blank carded Yara the, uh... I mean, blank card Perthro is also pretty good, but I should have blank card Yera the the spirit heart on the ground. We could have had like literally unlimited spirit hearts, not literally, but like functionally unlimited spirit hearts. Yeah, let's double Bob's brain. What a what a fantastic room to have the Yera rune on. Uh, again, there's some sloppy misplays here. I'm gonna blame that on being the first run of the day, but we're still in a, a pretty dominant position from a damage standpoint. All we need is any defense, and we're we're set, man. Figured we might as well double it before we got to the exact end there. You know, I mean, I hate to harp on this too much, but like a single HP upgrade, like vanilla HP upgrade, would be more than we've gotten all game, to put it politely. Like, yes, it's my own fault I've gone into the deals of the devil without having the spirit hearts necessary to take them, but at the same time, normally you expect to get an HP upgrade by the fifth or sixth floor. Normally you'd expect to get three or four, probably, but uh... That hasn't been our experience today, and that's okay, because it, it's created a very dynamic and interesting run here. And it's obvious- thank you, I appreciate that. It's obvious, like, we're not hurting for, for success right now, but it could go terribly wrong. And if we want to do boss rush, we're gonna have to be pretty fast here. I haven't- I don't think I've seen a tinted rock all game, either. There might be one over here, but I have, like, a dead pixel. On my monitor, that actually makes it really difficult to see. There's like a line that just goes down um, the the entire side of my monitor. I don't think it's a dead pixel. I think it's actually like a cabling issue. But I've just learned to live without it. But whenever or learned to live without that part of my screen. But whenever somebody comes over and they're like using my computer, they're like, "What the fuck is that on your screen?" I'm like, "Oh, you mean that uh, enormous cyan line that covers like one entire vertical pixel or vertical column, I guess, of pixels." I call him Colomy. He's very helpful um, once you get used to him. He's not helpful at all, actually. Sack Dagger. Not only my favorite Australian pop star, but also uh, a half decent item for us. By half decent, I actually mean like largely pretty freaking good. Wish you could kill those guys after you'd disabled them. Obviously, we lost a Spirit Heart there that I'm not very thrilled with. I'm gonna choose not to harp on that and just. Uh, Move on. Why do I keep taking these pills? Because I don't know if they're good. So my expectation is, or my my MO, I should say, is if I don't know if they're good, we're just going to take them. Now, it's not a good MO to have in real life. If you don't know if something's good for you, um, especially if it's like a medicine, I wouldn't recommend taking it, man. That's going to be bad for business. However, um, in our unique situation here in Isaac, I mean, there's more of a chance for, for greatness than oblivion. I mean, this is like unlimited money, right? So, we might as well give it a try. Every single time we double, it becomes a lot easier to, to get to 99 cents. Oh. There was actually a voice on some of those that time. Uh, I, I don't really want to explore. Because I think that it's going to make it hard for us to do boss rush. But if we don't have a teleport anyway, why do we care? I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Um, we might as well explore because we're not going to do boss rush anyway. Like, I'm, I'm not in a position right now, despite my strength, where I want to, um, I want to fight eight bosses, you know, or actually it's probably more like 50 bosses, so instead we're just going to try to make our way to the shop. If we can get a teleport card along the way, we can rethink our decision. If we don't, we don't. That's also fine. Number one thing is just making sure we actually have a pretty good chance to win this run. Thank you for not being greed. Um, we will blank card Yara this, and this will, this has given us the win, if I'm being honest. Like, it, it was maybe a little touch and go earlier. Now we have unlimited spirit hearts. For this room, at least. So we, we will win this run. Um, what's our, what's this, High Priestess? We don't want to take that, obviously. Just take this, get the heck out of Dodge. Check out this double key room. It's a dime. It's kind of worthless. 
If we really hustled, I bet we could get back and beat Mom and get to Boss Rush. What, within eight seconds? Well, okay, now that you put it that way, with the realities of time and space, I think that you're probably correct. But I think we could probably beat Mom in under ten seconds. Just a little too slow to make the dream happen there. Like, yeah, we definitely could have done it in under ten seconds. That's okay, though. I'm not gonna... Oh, we gotta go to the dark room! Where's my post-it notes? Here we go, okay. Dark. Room. Wrote it down on a post-it note. Gonna put this post-it note on top of my monitor. It's an old school working in an office technique for when, you know, hey, don't forget to turn off the gas before you go home or everybody's gonna die. You gotta, that's, that's some important shit. You give that a post-it note. I'm so used to, you know, like nine months of playing Isaac without a, I don't want to say without a goal, because that sounds wrong, but you know, without like, it mattering which direction we go in. So we're just like, we're always going to go in the chest. And then you freaking go, uh, you get that muscle memory ingrained, and you're just like, yep, Polaroid, 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 Polaroid. I try saying that ten times fast. Well, again, <laughs> maybe it's a good thing that I'm not focused on, uh, Strictly getting uh, real Platinum God because I'm slowing myself down quite a lot. I feel really stupid about that one. And I think deservedly so. You know, people are always like, oh, don't feel bad. You know, it's a mistake anybody can make. That is true. But I think feeling bad here is going to be good for me. Because it's going to give me a little bit more motivation to pay attention in the future. You know, that's the thing is that uh, some of the best things I've ever done in my life have been motivated by embarrassment and pain. Which is not maybe a nice thing to say, but at the same time, you know, embarrassment can be a great motivator, man. Why do you practice your, uh, your public speeches in, in high school until, you know, your, your throat's all chapped? Because you don't want to embarrass yourself in front of, you know, the person that you could lose your virginity to, possibly. Um, yeah, and probably that's not, the results of that are not going to be based on your, um, your performance? Whoa, these guys start low and then heal. Oh, because they grow as time goes on. That's, that's neat, though. I've never seen it in action before. Um, I don't mind fighting these guys, to be honest with you. But yeah, you know, embarrassment can be a good, uh, can be a good motivator, which is not to say it's a nice motivator, but I am, you know, I've publicly embarrassed myself here in this rebirth episode or afterbirth episode in front of, I don't know, maybe like 70,000 people, so... That's like my own little nightmare mode right there. You know, just settle on a size, Lazarus. And I'll, I'll try to use that as motivation to become better in the future. Or at least pay more attention in the future. I need Kate to come in here and be like... You know, what? once the Necropolis comes in, she gets to be my trip sitter. And she just comes in and goes, Hey, dark room. Go to the dark room. You gotta go to the dark room on this run. Uh, and that might be advantageous as well. But here we are. We're, we're gonna win this run. This is a, like, exceptionally strong Lazarus run. And I love it for that. Plus, we're, we are gonna get to use Blank Card Yera on the chest. So it's not like it's just like a colossal fuck-up with nothing good coming from it. How did we freeze that enemy? Did we talk about this? Because I'm a little confused. I will take this. Hopefully we can trade it away. Uh, I was hoping to trade away a little bit more than that, but that's alright. The mark will be a decent all stats upgrade for us, I think, and we'll head down to the next floor. Yeah, Blank Cardiera is still fun. We can still be excited about Blank Cardiera. Now, we do only have 22 keys, so um, it would be in our best interest to maybe start a key doubling on this floor while we still have time. And again, first double takes it to two. Then we gotta double it from two five times, and that's 32 right there. And if you're wondering how I, how I did that math so quickly in my head, it's just... It's just the powers of two, dog. Isn't they? They, they gotta teach powers of two in school these days. It's not all SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, you know, freaking take out your iPad. We're all gonna watch uh, the never ending story these days, is it? Back in my day, the teacher gets up at the front and says, What's two to the power of five? And you fucking say 32, or you get a rap on the knuckles with the yardstick. That is definitely not true. I grew up in the days of, you know, everyone gets a trophy and whatnot. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna act like things were harder back in my day. Unless it eventually becomes like, you know, back in my day, kids still got the tension. They'll be like, whoa, dad! Kids got punished? Back in the, 
Back in the mid to late 90s and early 2000s? I know, it was darker times. Now we have kid presidents running around uh, making legislation. Because they're the only pure beings on the planet. It just seemed like the logical democratic choice. Not to reference the Democratic Party, rather the, the concept of democracy. As I know, as we get closer to, you know, November of 2016, I'm going to try to keep things as apolitical as possible. Which should be pretty easy, considering I don't even live in the United States where the, the presidential election is taking place. We've already had our election. I can, I can cool it on that for a few years. And by we, I mean the citizens of the, you know, Dominion of Canada. Alright, so this is going to take us to 16. This will be a great opportunity to unlock... Did you see me miss those spikes? Are you proud of me, Daddy? Um, we, uh, we missed those spikes, which was nice. But also, this will be a great opportunity for us to see... Wow, good job. Maybe worth it, but shouldn't have done it anyway. Um, to see new items, which is exciting. I guess we'll just go pick up our keys as is. Uh... Great opportunity to knock off a lot of those new items off the list, probably. You gonna freaking time gate the DLC? Edward and Tyrion? Well, you don't get your chance, mister. I'm gonna get 40 brand new items right here. Real Aluminum God is gonna be in my future, and you can't stop me. I should really stop walking on the spikes. I mean, I think I have a decent amount of HP left, but I, there's no excuse to take, like, exceptionally terrible damage. Uh, we're just... We're doing pretty well here. We have one red heart as well, in case we get the opportunity to get a uh, deal with the devil. Man, each fly... Oh, we could fight the hush, too. Um, each fly is doing... 681 damage. Well, we're not guppy yet, but we got the second guppy item. Again, I, I am... Oh. I guess I was very... S no, it came out on the other side here. Disregard. I got a little uh, concerned there temporarily, but it was not necessary to do so. Okay. Goathead. Just fantastic timing. Uh, I think we'd rather have Satanic Bible, honestly. There's been a lot of times where I've only lived thanks to having one extra HP... On this one, they're both active items, so I kind of think we don't give, like, a shit at all. You know what? We don't need Satanic Bible uh, because of this battery charge. Why not just do this? Um, so, I, I did do this wrong. We could have gotten, like, way more keys out of this. But, at the same time, this is going to take us to full HP... Which then allows us to take the fly item here. Lost fly, lost protector. I don't know if this is any good. It looks like it just flies around the outer edge of the screen. Maybe killing those enemies who are super annoying. Um, who show up on the, the sides and shoot beams. Those enemies do kill you a lot as the loss. So I can, I can understand the naming convention there. We did okay against Blue Baby. But I, I'm kind of at the point with Hush where I'm like... You know, no matter what you do... Hush is still going to be annoying to fight, so we might as well just uh, be content with the amount of damage we're outputting, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Excuse me, uh, I really need Rotten Baby Flies to hit the Hush. There we go. Those do as much damage as four shots, so we really want to keep a, we want to keep a steady economy of them flowing in here. And we want to take as little damage as possible here when we get started. Because things get much, much harder as the fight goes on. You want to try some sticky spider bombs in here? Oh, he regens HP when he does that? That's just not right. I still don't understand what these bombs do fully. Alright, we got in there. I can't hit the bombs. Due to them being spectral bombs or something? I don't know. Our bombs are doing next to no damage. Maybe it's better for us to just save them. We're closing in on the halfway point here. It's going to be a long one. It's, not, it's all right. It's not like I have a stream to start in like 22 minutes or anything like that. I mean, 22 minutes should be a long time. But, you know, this is a, it's a fight and a half right here as well. And we can really see how our damage changes based on uh, Lump of Coal as well. 
Like, standing back here versus standing up at the front, those shots look like they're hitting me as far as I'm concerned. It's the difference in 40 damage per shot, which is like an extra 25% damage bonus, roughly. Uh, that was good. That was a good hit. I definitely should have just moved out of the way of those ones. But we're, we're, I think we're doing disproportionately well right now. I will say, with Spider Mod, it looks like his uh, HP is lower than it is on the actual health bar. Somehow we dodged all those. These are the ones I don't like. Give ourselves the largest window possible to dodge them. I got this fucking post-it note that says dark room on my monitor now. I can't see shit. Now I'm not even going to be able to beat mom on, on the regular. Where's mom's foot? Oh, it's covered up on my dark room post-it note because I'm an idiot. You know what? We probably should have taken Satanic Bible. Lost Protector seems to be doing nothing for us right now. And one Spirit Heart may actually make a huge difference. As much as I'm uh, loath to say it. One Spirit Heart often ends up being just the amount of HP we have left when we finish the, the Hush fight. I've still never died against the Hush, but I consistently get down to one HP. I don't know what that says about me or what it says about the fight. Please be done. Please be done. I seem to just consistently get to one HP left, two HP left. Is there anything else left for us here? I mean, we did okay. I would like to have more HP, but life goes on. Oh, there's another spirit heart back here. Another two, actually. Oh, lucky us. Okay. Uh, we will head to the chest. Because it's a secret boss that we just beat, so we're going to get a new ending. It's a weird day in the life of Lazarus here. I really thought we'd be able to go to the cathedral, but maybe we didn't finish the fight fast enough? I don't know. Alright, so pretty self-explanatory ending there. Where's my laugh button? It's been removed from my... The joke would have been better with the laugh button. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode in spite of my idea see and the fact that I guess we did unlock something new. But anyway, thanks for watching and I will uh, see you next time. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future.